UNSC Marines have always been the backbone of Halo. None of the Master Chief's campaigns would have been successful without his brothers fighting by his side. So today, we're celebrating all the Marines that have been released in anticipation for Halo Infinite so far. And there are actually quite a lot of them. I've got all of them in front of me and I thought the best way of doing it would be starting at the lowest to the highest price point. And going through all the details, all the accessories, everything you need to know so you can decide which Marines to add to your arsenal. Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. We're gonna start with Halo Infinite Series 1 Blind Bag. This is just the basic Marine, comes with an assault rifle, and he is bare bones. He's got no leg armor, he's got no shoulder pads, he is just a helmet, chest, and basic figure. But you know what? To start off with, it's okay. Especially when you look at all the different customization and extra armor pieces we get later on in this review. So this is our Marine, Chips Dubo, Infinite Style, and he is bold. And he's a little bit cross-eyed, but you know, it's not that bad. The amount of detail on this face is actually very good. And when Mega Constructs included new articulation, they added these pinpoint holes. So these are actually holes into the head. These are just pinpoints but you can see the white is painted inside the eyelids, and then he's got painted on eyebrows as well. I really like this Marine, he's won me over, and he's been the center stage of a lot of my dioramas. Halo Infinite Marine, a really easy way to start army building, and although the figure is quite basic, the way Mega Constructs has made it, you have these odd speckling pieces. Like, it's not just a plain wash, and the feet also rotate on these really nice boots for one of the first times ever. So this is an excellent Marine. Could come with a backpack, could come with some shoulders, but a good way to to start. Also included in Series 1 blind bags is the AC Pelican Brohammer. This guy is gonna be the main focal point of Halo Infinite, no doubt, so it's really cool to get a figure of him so early, especially this hologram version. You know, if you saw my Halo Infinite massive diorama, he was a hologram sending a distress beacon, and he comes with this nice sidekick pistol. I've said many times that blind bags should not include AC figures, they should be part of the chase, not part of the packaging, not one of the official figures, but this one is a good exception and he has this really nice elasticated belt, this soft plastic. I really enjoy this, and I really hope more Marines can have this customization in the future. It's a great feature for adding accessories to. This is a really awesome guy, and he has a unique helmet and chest mold that we see a couple of times later on, but it is the first time I got hold of it. I think this is a top quality figure. Moving up by a couple of dollars now, we've got Halo Heroes, our Marine Sniper. I know everybody was so excited to get hold of this and to get hold of such a badass female Marine too. Full camouflage all the way around her body and even the colors of her shoulders, which look like they are basic. No, they are two different colors. They're very detailed and just even look at the chest, I can see like four or five colors on there. She has a backpack that is straight from Call of Duty and then these leg pads with even a flashbang. She's got a load to offer, she's really cool. And then this head mold, we'll see it a couple of times later on, but the ginger is a really great feature, like I've never seen a ginger figure. I love the bullets on her leg piece. There is so much to look at on this detailed Halo hero. And if that wasn't enough, she comes with Romeo's helmet, Halo 3 ODST style, sort of metallic green visor. Take the stage, Marine Sniper. Next, we have what I have always said is my favorite set in 2020, the Marine Gear Pack, because this thing comes with so many accessories. It's actually crazy. And I'll break down as many as I can in this video, but if you wanna see my full review, I recommend you check that out. And here they are. We've got this removable helmet, which shows the exact same mold as the Marine Sniper, but with black hair. I also like the details on this hair, like the flick coming down, and it also seems to be covered back. It is a shame that these Marines got a needle rifle straight to their head before they even got out the packaging, but it's okay. It's to make sure these helmets fit on snugly. I kind of feel like it would fit on without the hole in the head. This guy has a goatee, but is also bold. His eyes look way less cross-eyed than the Infinite Series 1 blind bags, and they come with a ton of different shoulders. There are currently four different shoulders, all offered in this Marine Customizer pack, and they're all very different. They, You can definitely see which one is which from afar. I feel like these two are very Marine style. These more like Spartan shoulders, but they all fit on and look really great on the Marines, and you'll see them appear a lot more in this review. We got all four of these in brown, 
on. And in the silver, we've got to set each of these two shoulders. Really great, really great. And then we've also got a couple of the silver helmets. They're the exact same as the brown ones, except they've got this metallic blue visor, which is the exact same as the marine sniper, which is a great little touch. Then we're also offered the Pelican Pilot helmet, which looks the same, but is actually a slightly different color to the Pelican Pilot himself. It's like a brown versus this green. We then have the standard marine chest plates in silver, and again, the Pelican Pilot chest plate, but a different color. Finally, you can customize these packs with the leg straps and a standard backpack that goes in the back of the torso. I've seen this thing literally a billion times. I love it. We're moving up our price point now to a little more expensive of a set, about 10 to $12. These guys are leading the charge with the UNSC combat unit, and I especially love this guy with the sidekick pistol and flag in hand. This female Marine has been dubbed Ellen DeGeneres, and I really like it. You know, Marines in service shave their heads, so this one works perfectly to me. But the facial features are, again, really crisp on this one. Very good. This male has the goatee, same as the Marine gear pack, but it's a little more subtle and, again, bold. There's a lot of really bold males in this. Again, facial features are spot on. You can even see some like wrinkles in the brow, like very detailed. Then the two Marines, they both have the same shoulders, which is totally fine. There's no customization in this one, but I think that's what convinced people to buy the Marine gear pack. I think that was definitely the point. And aside from that, they are pretty basic Marines, except this one, I really like that half of his arms are exposed. He's got a sleeveless shirt, which, you know, when you compare it to like this one, you can definitely tell the difference because this one has exposed skin, which is really great. So the more customization, the better. These two marines are excellent and yes i'm not showing all the figures that come in these packs because this is a marine only review and you should definitely go out and buy that you should buy all these complete your collection just like i have the next one i know is an enormous fan favorite it's the unsc marine platoon pack and I've done a couple of videos on this. You should definitely check them out. We're gonna start with the UNSC Marine Survivor. I like the idea behind this. I mean, all the figures in this set have names, which is a great feature. And you can see he's a survivor because he's lost all of his armor, though you do get the two armor pieces in the set, so you can complete that look. But yeah, I like the plain shirt. It adds way more of like a civilian or maybe a commander vibe to him. And again, the sleeveless arms just add to way more customization, way more lifelike. Everything else about him is super basic, but I love the arms, love the shirt, and then we're moving on to UNSC Marine Demolition, and this is the other Ellen DeGeneres figure. Now, in the packaging, it looks like she has white hair. Now, it's pretty much, it's almost the same as this one, though you can see it's like slightly different browns. Goodness me, the eyes are a little bit off with this one. The, uh, it looks like she's more wearing war paint than actually having eyelids. Again, all of these Marines come with the basic Marine shoulder. Now, you can definitely tell that that's what Mega Constructs wants you to think is the basic. And then only a couple of other sets actually come with different shoulders, and we'll get to those later on. But this is the Demolition Marine. I think it's fantastic. Moving on to the Marine Technician, I know you guys know that this is my favorite because it comes with this tech pad, which is just gorgeous, and also has sleeveless arms. A different skin tone, you can see, a slightly different skin tone, a bit darker. And this one also has gloves, which is really great. Really great feature. This compact, like the one in the gear pack, has different colors between the antenna and the backpack itself, which is a really great touch. Bit of a cross-eyed face, but again, a slightly different skin tone to the plain white, so I really respect that as well. And then we've got this UNSC Marine. Now I'll note that the chest is actually different. It's a female torso compared to the male. Again, it's the ponytail, but they are all actually different. You can see between the gear pack, the sniper, and this one, they are all different colored heads. You know, if you're gonna use the same mold, just give it a different hair color and it literally doesn't matter. But you do get a leg pad with this one, great touch. This is all in sort of white. And then this Marine Sniper also comes with a leg strap. He is, again, rocking the goatee and super bold. Just add all of the different skin tones, keep it really varied. And this one has a very strong goatee and I like his facial expression. He's got the sleeveless arms, the basic shoulders. He's looking ready to snipe some banished. The Marine Platoon Pack offers way more figures than ever before for the price. And I would highly recommend you trying to pull that one. I know it's quite rare now, but you should really try and get it before 
before it gets scalped too high. All right, so we're moving up to the high price point sets now. We've got four more sets to go, and we're going to start with the Mongoose, because the Mongoose is, you know, it's a cheap set. It comes with two Marines, though, like the most figures for value with a vehicle, I think, pretty much ever. First, we've got Old Goaty, <laughs> bold as ever, but they've all been slightly different skin tones, which I do respect. And when you don't do a different skin tone, you can do a different hair color. Although these still are different skin tones as well, very marginally, but they are. And this one is a ginger, so good for him. <laughs> you know, he's got that nice sort of reddish color. This one actually has a punched out face. It's really weird. It's like an issue with the molding. It was my mongoose that I unpackaged. It just has like a weird punched in face. So maybe he had a couple of accidents when he was driving, who knows? But these make a great pair. Again, the sleeveless arms are great. This one comes with the basic shoulders. This one doesn't come with any, but I guess you could give each one a shoulder if you wanted. They are all of our cheap sets. We're now gonna move up to the Warthog. The Warthog only comes with one Marine because the Master Chief and two Jackals are also in that set. But here we are, a basic Marine. He's got nice shoulders. It's actually very rare that you find any leg straps in these sets, it's only a couple. These are actually different ones. You get these shoulders in the Marine gear pack, but only these two sets. Dark skin tone, fantastic molded face. Helmet slips right on. He's got that basic chest. And this one particularly, I've seen a lot of nice speckling details details just it's all random whatever like dark green or light green little dots you get but I think it always adds to the figure so this one is fantastic yeah that's the warthog and then we're moving up to the really pricey sets. We're on to the Defense Point Showdown. And this is probably my favorite Marine, just based on how much you get in a single figure. This is, yeah, it's fantastic. Look at this. It's a dark skin toned female, again with the ponytail, but we've got four different kinds of female and then two of the shaved head females. And this one comes with these weird jagged out shoulder pieces, which I like. I think it's definitely like, if, if you had a Marine that was assigned to follow the Master Chief, she'd have those shoulders like. Like, they're awesome. Comes with a plain gray backpack, but with a black antenna. So again, mix in the colors. But this one comes with two leg straps, one with a pad there, little ammunition belt, and one with a smoke grenade. No, I don't think smoke grenades are gonna be in Halo Infinite, but it's just a fun accessory to include with a toy. Black battle rifle in hand, she's ready to defend the Master Chief, and the Master Chief is coming in hot from the Pelican Inbound. And that's the last Marine for today, the Bro Hammer. It's very appropriate that we ended it on this figure. He is ready to go. This helmet is something special with the black visor, the silver radio piece, and then the green. Like he's got a very unique green that's just for his figure. And then this blue undersuit just gives the real civilian vibe of him. And for some reason, he does not have swiveling boots like all the others. You know, maybe that's just how he is. Maybe he doesn't like to jive. The sidekick pistol's great. Again, I love this, like, elasticated technician belt. It would have been nice to give this to one of the platoon pack marines, maybe the survivor, but yeah, this is the Pelican Brohammer, and I've seen some comments about him being a little, uh, little cross-eyed. Mine's okay, I don't mind it. And then, super unique head mold. Everything's totally molded to the character in-game. He's ready for Halo Infinite. I'm ready for Halo Infinite, are you? I mean, I'm certainly ready for Halo Infinite with all these figures, goodness me. There we have it, friends. All of my Marines, brothers and sisters united to fight the banished. This is crazy. Ah, oh, I love having them all together. I wanted to make this video for you guys. I've actually wanted to make this video for a long time, but now I'm about to do a new display. So I thought before I just messed all the pieces up again, I'd do this. This was another video with the domain, guys. Please do let me know if you enjoy this kind of video. I want to do more like every single Master Chief from 2020. And also let me know which your favorite Marine is. I know there's so many to choose from. And what are your hopes for 2021's Marines? What could they improve upon? I didn't even mention the heights in this when the platoon pack marines were implemented, the heights were changed slightly to be more in line with Spartans. So the marines are ever changing. Let me know what kind of changes you want next. Stay awesome out there, stay safe, and the Pelican Pilot is signing off.